Greetings and welcome to our episode 2 of How Crystals Work. Please do leave uh, comments at the end of the video if you'd like to see more like this and feel free to like and subscribe. Turbocharge your relationship with crystals using focused conscious intent. As mentioned previously, crystals have a default behaviour and an energy they will emit regardless of our awareness, denial or that state of blissful obliviousness that we as humans can at times inhabit. In addition to these default crystal properties, we as humans can choose to consciously work with crystals as well. In this way, we can establish a stronger relationship with the crystal to co-create a far more focused, sharpened and effective result. Conscious intent can take many forms when working with crystals. These can include, but are by no means restricted to, visualising, verbalising, knowing, or even simply writing a note and placing the crystal on it. The possibilities of how one can work with crystals is truly limitless. Crystals are entirely flexible when interfacing with us. There is no one right or wrong way to go about it. The most important thing is that the pathway you find is comfortable for you. As against trying to follow someone else's technique or um, <coughs> following some YouTubers suggestions. At the end of the day, the only right way is your way. Just back yourself, you and the crystal have got this. Crystals naturally seek to sync with us humans, and for the most part, all one needs to do is consciously accept working with the crystal, and the crystal will take care of the rest. It is not necessarily a connection that can be consciously felt, heard, or seen, and that is fine. Simply feeling comfortable with the crystal is what is key. Sitting there second guessing yourself and doubting there is a connection? Yeah, not so much. Having trust and letting go was one of the most important and in some ways for me personally, the most difficult part of working with crystals. And that was definitely a me problem, not a crystal one. Perhaps I will cover that particular personal journey of mine in another video in the future. Some of the different crystal modalities one can use. Crystal meditation. Meditation is a great way to work with and get to know your crystals better. Meditation can and does take many different forms. The most important thing is to choose a method that feels right for you. A very traditional meditation method is to clear all directed thoughts from your head. Listening to your breath helps to still the mind and clear away the everyday mental chatter. Being in this stilled and receptive state will help you forge a deeper relationship with your crystal. Another example of meditation with crystals can be putting on mood enhancing music and then just be chilling, bopping or even headbanging to the music and see what crystal music, movement, fueled inspiration bursts forth. That too is absolutely a form of meditation. Body layouts. Body layouts are a very direct way to work with these crystals. This modality has one placing crystals on either themselves or other people's bodies. Having the stones placed directly upon the skin is the ultimate way to interact and receive the crystal's energy. However, in cases that require modesty, placing the crystals upon sheets, towels, or simply directly over clothes is all good too. Body layouts can be extremely flexible in the form that they may take. One way to get started with body layouts is to use the chakra positions and colors as a guide. That is to say, Place crystals on the body's chakra points that match the chakra's colour. For example, gold citrine, gold calcite, gold pyrite on the solar plexus. Pink rose quartz, pink hematite quartz, green fluorite, green garnet on the heart chakra, and so on. From there, body layouts can take form in an unlimited variety of patterns and structures. Crystal elixirs. Crystal and gem elixirs is a technique where you place a natural unpolished crystal into a bowl of distilled water, which then takes on the vibrations of the crystal. 
This water can then be diluted and used to either ingest or be utilised as a direct salve upon the skin. One does need to be somewhat careful about what crystals to place in the water. This is due to both possible damage to the crystal or toxic damage to the human. I promise I will be creating several videos on this topic as there are a lot of questionable data flying around the internet regarding this subject. I will even be bringing in a bit of science to the debate. <gasps> crystal grids. This modality involves the laying out of groups of crystals that consist of anything from two to pretty much an unlimited amount of crystals. They can take up as small or large an area as you see fit. Using conscious intent, you can do layouts in any shape you like. As a possible place to start, you could experiment using the geometrical shapes that the crystals grow in, as discussed earlier in this video. Programming the crystals on a group level also has a large part to play when working with grids. There is no right or wrong way to grid crystals, just your way and others that you see and feel to use too of course. Crystal Jewellery We get it, you're a busy person and want to take your crystal interactions to go. No problem. Get moving with crystal energy by wearing them. And naturally crystal jewellery is a great way to achieve that. How you choose to wear and place them has near limitless possibilities be it from pendants, bracelets, navel rings, through to ear studs and beyond. Crystals will be happy, joyful and willing travel companions on your journeys to self-discovery. Chakra Balancing We've already touched on this subject earlier in the video. Each chakra has associated colours and crystals. Generally crystals of the same colour as each chakra are a good match for said chakra. One could use a pendulum or singing laser wands to douse the current state of another person's chakra system. The ones that are low on energy should get some crystals of the correct colour placed on that chakra's region to optimise it. Chakras that are already in balance can further be tuned using clear quartz as it always seeks to balance. With this in mind, you can also place clear quartz crystals between chakra points to further assist the balancing process. Clear quartz from Colombia is especially good for this. Pocket stones. Another crystals on the go method. There is a lot to say for a good pocket buddy. These crystal tools can help with providing a calming, motivating, knowledge infusion among all other manner of abilities, depending on the day stone that has been selected. Are you expecting a tough stressful day at the office? Then grab a black tourmaline to help you face that day with grace, poise and strength. Perhaps you are studying concepts that are new to you. Carry a fluorite to help you focus on every nuance and detail of your latest educational endeavour. Whatever the situation, there is a pocket buddy crystal eager and keen to assist you 24-7. Feng Shui The use of crystals for Feng Shui has been around for more than 3,000 years. They make willing and powerful companions for bringing balance and harmony into your environments, wherever that environment may be. Examples of using crystals with this ancient art can be using clear quartz crystals in areas where you want to enhance clarity and focus, such as your home office or study area. Another example could be rose quartz. This crystal promotes harmony and emotional healing. Place it in the relationship corner, southwest, of your environment. Another example could be the use of citrine in your feng shui placements. Being one of the crystals associated with abundance, it can be placed in the wealth corner of your home, that's the southeast corner, or in your workspace to enhance financial success. Crystals make for powerful allies in the setting up of your perfect feng shui environment well that concludes our video we hope you liked what you saw please do let us know if you have any suggestions for videos you'd like to see regarding crystals uh, feel free to like and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one <laughs>